What is the real purpose of Redfin and Zillow? Two real estate platforms, two giants, two competitors. Want to know more? Listen on. I am Ella Gerfinkel, and this is my show. This is a safe place for you, my friends, to ask your real estate, finance, mortgage questions. And honestly, there are no dumb questions in my book. Because guess what? You don't know what you don't know. You may be in IT. I'm not. I don't know enough about IT. You are not in the real estate world. You're not in the finance world. Therefore, you just don't know what you don't know. And therefore, there is no stupid questions to ask because I will answer your questions all day long, as long as it takes. If you're looking for a professional to handle your mortgage for your home purchase, whether it's your home to live in, an investment property, or a vacation home, look no further. I would love to take you by the hand and guide you through the process. The consultation costs nothing. Here is the calendar link for you. And if you want to, here is my phone number. This is a place where you get blunt answers, no sugar coating, and I will take you literally by your hand from the beginning of the transaction to the very end. Do you know what the real purpose of Zillow and Redfin is? Or Redfin and Zillow, depending which way you want to flip that. Those two giants are actually for-profit companies. Their main purpose is to generate money. You, as the consumer, you as a home buyer, don't pay them anything. Now, if you're renting a property out, meaning you're a landlord, to list a property with Zillow for rent may cost you something measly around 10 bucks. We're not talking about that. We're talking about those two being for-profit companies and how exactly they make the money that they do. So hear me out. Both of them post and publish properties for sale in every market in the United States. If you think that the information they get is different, think again, it ain't. Reason being, there is an IDX, basically information, data exchange, whatever, I'm not techie, not going to get into that. There is an IDX connection that ties in all of the MLSs, multiple listing services throughout the country for every market into Zillow. Redfin, and multiple other platforms. There is actually a multitude of other platforms, but they're less known and therefore sometimes less used. So this IDX will port the information or tie in the information once the home goes on the market, gets listed, and gets published, pushed through the local MLS. That information then gets transmitted to Redfin, Zillow, and like I said, other platforms. What happens from here is actually the most interesting part because the local MLSs charge the real estate agents, licensed real estate agents, real estate brokers for memberships in the local MLSs. Then when the home again gets marked for sale, the information gets transmitted to Zillow and Redfin. Really, it's identical information because the source is one. Information comes from the same source. Now, where the differences do come into play sometimes between Redfin and Zillow, or a lot of times from my experience, is on the speed of that information transmittal because I've never yet seen Zillow show a house marked as pending as quickly as I see it on Redfin. Literally, as soon as you have an agent mark the house as pending in their local MLS, multiple listing service, that will pop up on Redfin almost instantaneously. Information comes from the same source, but the speed makes a difference. Now, back to the purpose, back to the reason that Redfin and Zillow exist. So the homes go on the market. They are promoting the homes. You, as the home buyer, are searching for the homes. You're searching through Zillow. You're searching through Redfin. And I'll show you the real-life examples of the same home, how it appears in both. As soon as you click more information on either one, that's called a lead capture. You become a lead. Your inquiry becomes a lead to both of the companies. Do you know what happens next? Once you become a lead, they sell your lead information to us on the mortgage side, and they sell it for a pretty penny. Trust me, that amount is insane. And they also sell it to real estate agents. So if you're surprised after poking around on either one that you're all of a sudden getting bombarded by emails, texts, phone calls, what have you, why did it happen? Where they came from? Because you asked for more information on Redfin and Zillow your information becomes the commodity, and that's how and where the money is made. 
Not sure about Redfin, but Zillow for sure not only will charge us and real estate professionals for the lead, your information you plugged in, they also sell us or try to sell us areas to become exclusive lead recipients, lead buyers of your information. And that, my friends, is really somewhat of an issue I have with both platforms, because while you may think they're there for your convenience, and technically they could be, really it's a money machine pumping you for information to turn around and sell it to us on the professional side. And that's how they make money from taking your info and pushing it to us. Now, let me show you how the two platforms will show the same home. And while I'm not knocking Zillow, all I'm saying is, and I'll show it to you, from experience, Redfin does make for a hell of a lot more user-friendly platform for a consumer than Zillow is. But really, if you're working with a real estate professional looking for a home pounding the pavement, you may want to stay off of Redfin and Zillow for a couple of reasons. First of all, you don't want your information to get pushed out to others to be bombarded with other offers, because really, we're all doing the same thing. I'm not saying to eliminate competition. I'm just saying that it's your privacy that I'm after. The ideal information, the fullest scope of information is in the local MLSs that only the agent that you're working with can see. There are private remarks posted specifically by the real estate community for the real estate community for each home that's listed that do not transmit to either Redfin or Zillow. Public remarks do with the house information and everything you did or didn't want to know about the house. But there is also public remarks. And that sometimes where you really need to be in the know, your agent needs to be in the know. So let me show you something. This is the same house that I've pulled up, Northwest Antium Court in Portland, 450K purchase price. I'll tell you or I'll show you a couple of shortcuts that I personally use when a client of mine finds a house and wants me to run some numbers for them or wants me to see if there's anything wrong with the house. And again, I'm not an agent, so I'm not trying to take on an unlicensed agent's role. List price right here. Price per square foot I rarely look at. The estimated monthly payment, we've already done a show on that, so you may want to refer back to it because that's not the actual monthly payment that you specifically may be paying because you can see here, 20% down payment right there. You can adjust it, but very few people actually do. But this is really what I'm after when I go to Redfin to look at a home info, to run the numbers for my clients so they can make an offer and actually have the mostly accurate information. Homeowner's insurance is one, property taxes is the other, and if there is an HOA due. Here, we don't have any. There's more information further down, and this is important. The piece right here, the property details, is extremely important. It basically lists everything that the home has. Again, it pulls it from the MLS. Interior, exterior, it shows the most recent tax year, typically. Legal description, what the local utilities are, location, etc. And there is the sale and tax history for the same house. Now, here, my friends, is the same home on Zillow, different layout, obviously, because it's a different platform. It shows mostly the same information, active listing, $450,000. So here, here, and here, requesting a tour, contact an agent, that's the lead generation piece of it. And what I personally don't like, so it's this part here, the home value, the price, the monthly payment, the down payment assistance, whatever, it's this piece, the layout, personally, Maybe I'm just not a power user of Zillow, but honestly not a fan. Now, getting back to the monthly cost once again, can't really tell what this $2,800 is based on, meaning what's the down payment and how it got calculated. So again, could it be misleading? Could it be requiring 20% down for this specific home? I don't know. Price and tax history. It does show when the house was listed for sale, when it was previously sold, but so does Redfin. So in a nutshell, Again, I'm not knocking Zillow, but to me, Redfin has the better ease of use. Redfin is also faster in the draw in terms of the data transmission from the data source being the MLS. Both of them are after us mortgage and real estate professionals for money selling us your personal information when you click on more info, schedule a showing, et cetera, contact an agent in either one of the platforms. Now that you know how those two actually make their money and what they're about, how do you feel about that? 
I really want to see a comment below. I really want to have that conversation with you. And I also would love you to subscribe and comment and share the video with your friends and fam and ask your questions. I look forward to your questions and I'll see you in the next show.